Not got your head in that book again, have you? Yeah, I'm like, got the old there, uh, Haynes Caravan Manual out again. I'm just looking at tips and tricks and things that we can go through. So it's been a while since we've sort of gone through a few different things. First big time away was over Easter, um, and you hopefully had already pre-done all the checks that we've been telling you to ages ago. Um, so if you miss those videos, hit the subscribe button because hopefully next time you'll get the videos, you'll know what to do and you won't have all the problems. So let's have a look at some of the problems that you might have had over Easter um, and we'll see what's going on in the market as well at the same time. So, um, the weather's been all right over Easter, hasn't we had a decent-ish, it's been very, very wet, but actually over Easter it was okay. So, uh, caravan sales have picked up dramatically, so uh, sold, 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 lots of sold ones basically. Um, and just really going back to sort of what we've said previously, we're in a different sort of market to what we were during covid which is back to how things were originally before covid one month it would be really quiet next month it would be bananas um, next month it might just be trickling along and then all of a sudden everybody comes and we can't get enough stock and we can't keep up and that is basically the rhythm that we're in now so we did a couple of videos we'd sort of said about the eldest um laying off stuff and what have you and a lot of people i couldn't respond to half the comments to be fair because there's so much negativity uh it was just better just to not say anything at all um uh, but what do they say if you can't say anything nice don't, don't say, say anything, anything at, all. at all i think yeah so um yeah it was i wasn't sort of having a dig at eldest um there's good and bad with every different van so yeah that's all we're gonna say. So let's have a look at um, some issues that you might have come across over the Easter break. If it was your first time actually using the caravan, um, something that happens quite a lot and um, plastic taps especially is will have drained the caravan, will have done everything that we should have done over the winter, we've drained all the taps, but still um, we'll sometimes get a little bit of water sort of seeping um, around the base of the tap and what can basically happen is that if there has been a little bit of water left within the cartridge of the tap um, it can freeze and push out the little cartridges in there so nine times out of ten um, I don't actually know about this tap um, but nine times out of ten um, we can remove the little cap on the top there's a little screw on there that unscrews out and then we can sort of start dismantling the tap unscrewing the things properly, yeah i think we are going to do some prop but this is just giving you a hint of what actually it might be and then we might once we've got more time is do a proper video of how to dismantle your tap and destroy it completely um <laughs> but on a lot of the taps you can literally under the top bit get through and you can replace the the cartridge or even just reseat the cartridge um Typically, in the Haynes menu, it doesn't actually show us um, doing that, and that's what I was going to sort of hopefully try and sort of show you, and it doesn't. But if you've got a little bit of a, a seepage, so if you've got a little bit of water, that could potentially be what it is, is that the little cartridge within here has just popped out, uh, and it just either needs seating back in properly or a new cartridge. Now, the car cartridges are about £15, pounds, um, the different size cartridges, so you just have to sort of try and remove the cartridge, and then the, the problem is, is if it isn't just the cartridge and it's actually done damage to the plastic inside of the tap you're going to end up spending money buying a cartridge and then another hundred quid buying a tap so it's so does the tap come with a cartridge yeah the tap all comes complete and it's you should see whether it's cracked or not though shouldn't you, um, you yeah you down? might do and sometimes it's it's a, a, that case of that if it is sort of causing you a problem, at worst case scenario, by having a look and trying to strip down and having a little play, um, you're probably going to need a new tap anyway. So at least by having a look, it might be repairable and you might look at it. And what I tend to do is, if it's me, is we'll try and reseat the original um, little cartridge, try it, do it all back up. If it works, fantastic. If not, um, then the chances are we just put a new, a new tap on. We have normally got the cartridges in tap in stock, and I'll try and show you one of those in a bit. But watering, it's just popped this up very slightly. It might even be that this is just damaged. 
um, so it might be that we can measure this, get, take this into our local accessory shop, get a new one, and then it's just refitting it back in. If you've got a little bit of seepage, that's what it could possibly be. The other thing to double check is if your pump kept running while you're away, making sure underneath of the tap that you've not got water dripping out at the bottom of the tap. Now, if you've got water literally just coming out at the bottom and not really anything above, the tap's completely knackered, um, is, is the general rule. Nine times out of ten, if that is the case, and it's not that the pipe hasn't just pushed out, because again, it might be that the pipe has just frozen up slightly and pushed out. So just push the, um, the pipes back in. So on this one, you can see the blue and the red pipe at the back, possibly. Um, I don't know that you can see them down a bit lower. So if you follow the blue and the red pipe up to the tap and then just try and push them up, uh, make sure that they're, because they're normally just on a push fit connector like this. Um, so these push fit connections um, might just have popped out. So it might just be that you've got to push the, the pipe back in and that's worth having a, a try as well. Um, something that we'd done previously was tyres and we've sort of said about the age of the tyres something that we've never really mentioned on the tyres is the actual um the weight rating on the tyre so when you have a look at your your tyre it'll have your size so these are a 185 14 and then we've got a weight rating so the 102 100 so a lot of the heavier single axles are going to be sort of 100 102 or 102 104 and that is the actual weight of the tire what it can take in kilos yeah so 100 kilos no in our little haynes manual We've actually got what our load index, so that little number 100, 102 is referring to what weight the tyre can take. So each tyre, if it's a 100, can take 800 kilos in weight. Awesome, that um, really makes sense. Why do they not just put 800? That well, easy, it? it would have probably, <laughs> yeah, but it does, it, if you know, if take a good screenshot of that. Uh, load rating and hopefully you can see so it's worth double checking the tires that are on your caravan and all that you've got to do is look at what the maximum weight is so 1528 so we'll round that up to 1600 kilos so at worst case 100 is 1600 kilos so 800 plus 800 two tires yeah. 1600 kilos so uh, minimum weight rating on that tire needs to be 100 the 100 uh, 100 102s or 102 100 um, so that then sort of says yeah that tyre is compatible for that caravan does that make sense yeah I hope it does so, yeah um, so yeah so not all tyre sizes are going to have the right weight rating for your tyre no so again if you're looking to replace your tyres that little number at the end is very important um, because if you put the wrong, if you put car tyres on, and what that is saying is that it, the 800 or the 100, which is 800 kilos, a normal car tyre might only be like a 75 or a 76 or a 77, um, and the Could caravan, more of them, yeah, yeah, and the caravan has to be a lot, a lot heavier duty tyre. So uh, again, on this one, this one has got. What I'd said about, so this is 195, 70, 15, and then the important bit is at the very end, so they're a 104, 102. So a 102 absolute minimum is 850 kilograms, a 104 is 900 kilograms. So as long as that caravan is under 1700 kilos, those tyres are perfect. 1642, so round it up to 1700 spot on so something that you can just double check on your tires uh, nice van this one um which is locked it's been it's got that reserved as well um so yeah that's that's reserved somebody should be coming to have a look at that in a bit hopefully uh, another one which i think came in last week that hasn't actually sold just yet is this little swift challenger sport i think we had a look in this when i i was um I got this from Jason. 
Uh, he had this coming Partex against a motor and you've not seen this have you yet? No. Um, so this has got the nice island bed. It's got a solar controller on the side but no actual solar panel. Oh. Um, so I don't know whether he had a little mobile panel that he used to put into the window or something no. but there's no actual but he's... It looks like a big bad thing that would like be bigger than a little panel that you put in the window. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Set up. Uh, and there's no brackets on the roof either so it's not no. had a panel on the roof because we had a look. It's had a bigger one next to it, wasn't it? <sighs> God knows. Surely that's overkill for a little portal thing, isn't it? Oh well. Don't know. Don't know. Um, so, but yeah, so, nice, yeah. nice van there. Um, we got a Celeste that had just come in over at Gailey, so I might just fit that into this video. It's not a very nice day, and the dog, he won't come in at all. He just keeps staying where he is uh, over at our Gailey site. And then the Swift Celeste 580. Um, so again, really, really nice. This was a special edition van again. So again, we got the Aldi Central heating. We got a nice island bed, um, nice kitchen unit, and then at the back we got our nice separate shower and toilet. So again, a nice big separate shower and toilet. Uh, this has only just been serviced this year recently, I think, and check through. Um, so it's had full service history and been looked after. And again, as I say, you get a few different extras on the Celeste model, um, above and beyond what you normally get. So you've got the uh, alarm system, your Aldi Central heating. Outside, we get a locker. So you might have seen these before. Um, we get a little TV locker. So in here, we've got a little TV bracket, uh, TV point 12 volt and a 230 volt socket so that if we want a TV out into the awning um, we, we can have it out into the awning, how good is that? Uh, external 230 volt sockets external barbecue point, external locker going underneath the bed it's got the motor mover as well and this is going to be about 18995 uh, that's another one that actually came from Jason uh, but I never really did a video going to pick that one up it was absolutely chucking it down with rain we were both miserable we were both moaning um, was, it, was it was it the one where he booked the year wrong on it no, that was this one. Um, yeah, you got. You, yeah, don't talk about that. Don't talk. Uh, that, that's why Jason. To that. That's why Jason should stick to motorhomes and not caravans. Uh, we're not gonna. It, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, so even even motorhome dealers that have. I can't blame him. To be fair, he's only been in the industry for however many years, and he didn't know how to update his app. Slightly. Um, so another one that's just coming in. We'll brush over that fact quite quickly, shall we? Um, so 2000. We haven't actually got this open yet. You can have a look through the window then. So this is now. This is a part exchange that's coming in. It's a 2020. Is it a tr LM? Yeah, 2020. Uh, Going on Sprite Quattro. Shall I grab the key so you can have a quick little look? It's me that's got the year wrong. It's a 21. It's a 2021. Now there's no, no legs down on this and it's still the customer's van. Um, there's something else that I've just spotted that I'll talk about in a second. So 10th digit on the Chris number is a M which relates to a 2021. Um, I'll show you that in a second because that's quite a good. Yeah, I've got it. I've literally just put it into into place. So this is just coming in. Nice little layout. Yeah, nice, nice little van. Um, so this is just coming part exchange. We've got a lot of part exchanges again. So um, we've sold quite a lot, and we've got quite a lot of part exchanges coming back in again. So it seems like people have sort of got used to the prices now, where um, prices have come down but obviously what they're buying the price has come down so what you're getting in part exchange the price has come down so uh, it does seem like things have just changed slightly that is a little screenshot there if you can see that so that shows you 
the tenth digit what the year is. Um, so the ten tenth digit of the Chris number. Again, this is stuff that we've done before. So if you've not seen these videos before, um, make, make sure yeah you should have done. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's why you've missed it. Uh, big scratch on the window. On this one. On this one. Oh, on oh this one. No. So see this big scratch on the window. Um, so. Popping up in the top corner, I'll show you how to actually get that scratch out. Um, quite easy, literally that should come out with tea cut and polish. And I had a chap the other day, he'd got a caravan and on the side, he got a big dull patch. Oh yes, yeah. Um, and and he says, oh, like some somebody's just been along and they've, they've they says, oh, it's had a big accident, a big problem. Um, and they want to knock the price on the, the caravan uh, by a significant amount. Basically, tea cut and polish. Um, it might be when they're really, really discoloured, um, you have to do it three or four times and you have to probably get the machine polisher out on it. Um, but if you've got any discolorations, which can be, sometimes it can be that they've had paint at the factory. So if they've knocked it in the factory, they've had to fill it and paint it. Sometimes it might just be that it's been an area where the sun has sort of faded so if for some reason how the caravan's positioned um, the sun has affected the the colour on that part of the panel and um, so there's quite a few different reasons it's not always normally if it's had a bad repair when you look at it you'll see like a big funny spot where it's actually been repaired so um, it's not always the case it, there's, there's a lot of different reasons why you can have a different coloured spot so uh, a real good tea cutting and polishing if not use a machine polisher um, with tea cut and then polish it back again and that will normally bring it up really really nice again um, Hopefully next week we should have a few more vans in. Um, we'll be doing a build update ho as well, hopefully. Uh, had a bit of a disaster this week with it, um, so I fell out of love with it this week. <laughs> um, so we'll talk about that more next week. Uh, I'll be over it by then, hopefully. And... Uh, I'll be feeling better. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If uh, you've not already hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, and there's a load of other stuff that I've got written down here, which we're going to have to leave till next week because I've run out of time. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.